everybody. First, thanks for watching. I know there are a lot of fly time videos out there, and I appreciate you clicking on this one. This pattern is called a Kings River Caddis. I'll explain the materials as I go and put the recipe in the description. So first off, I've got a size 12 standard dry fly hook in here. I'm putting down a layer of black 8 alt UTC. Let's take it back to the start of the bend, about where the barb would be if this was a barbed hook. That's fine right there, maybe a one turn a little further back. Now I'll put a little wax on. We're going to dub this with a, a gray or a light brown. I'm using rabbit fur here. You could use some some muskrat, anything of this this color will be fine. So get you a little noodle down here. Pretty thin. It's a fairly thin body. It's a dry fly. So I'll do that. I'm going to get one wrap to catch that and then I'll, I'll start making it, pulling it a little bit tighter to get it thinner. There we go. Now you can you can build a little taper on this if you want. I don't always. Sometimes I just keep it flat all the way up. I've probably got a little more dubbing on this thread than I want. You don't want to go all the way up because you've got a lot of stuff going on at the front. So maybe two-thirds, maybe slightly more than that. We've got to put a wing on and then a big old bushy hackle. So yeah, I can I can back this up and make this a little bit thicker right here. Help prop that wing up just a little bit. Okay, pull some of that off. That's about as far up as I want to go. Now it's a little bushy. You can pull some of these loose fibers out if you want. Trim them off. We'll give them a little, a quick little trim. That is going to have a wing on it up here, so don't necessarily want these getting in the way, though they probably won't. But this one, the wing goes next before the hackle. So standard, pretty typical modeled turkey quill. Fold it over as a tent. Now I usually do the the thin end up forward, leave the thicker part in the back. See that? You can see that's a tent. Now don't worry about the length yet. We'll trim it in just a, a second. So let's get this laid here over the top. Make sure we're on both sides of the hook. And then a little pinch wrap right there. Put two down. Take a look at our alignment. Okay, that looks fine right there. And again, don't worry about the length. We're going to trim that in a second. So let's go ahead and get that locked in here pretty good. Now trim the front of this turkey quill off. Get as low as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to bury that and wrap some hackle on it here in just a second. Okay. So for the hackle, just I got a brown badger type right here. It's got a a bright side on one, and then a, a dull side. So snip off first couple of fibers, just get you a good tie in point here, and let's see, let's get pull that back a little bit so we're not crowding our eye. And this thing. You'll, you'll want probably a good eight or ten wraps if you can get them. You, I like this thing to be bushy, and the bushier it is, the better it seems to work. So just each wrap right in front of the next, you'll see them start to stand straight out. Now, we might have some leaning toward the front when we get way up here. We can push those back when we're tying our head. So that's probably enough right there. I think that might have only been about six wraps, but let's go ahead and lock that in. Zigzag this through. So we got that locked right there. Okay, and 
I'm going to go ahead and get one more lock and wrap through there. So I can spin this, trim off this. Now the good thing about these long badger hackles, you could probably get two flies out of each feather. So, it looks awful bushy right there, right? Yeah, it sure does. So we'll go ahead and I'm going to leave that wing on it for just a second, but pull these back. Pinch them under here the best you can. Might have some that sneak out the front. Just try to not trap any that are going to be sticking up forward. So there we go. That's that's pretty bushy and it gives me a little bit of room for a head up here. And some room for a, a whip finish. So let's see, this is a, a little bit tricky to get your whip finish in here without trapping these these fibers sticking forward. I'm going to try to get four turns on it right here. I think I did and let's see, did I? I did not. Okay, that was success. Sometimes you, you get a few of those fibers in your whip finish. And we're not completely done just yet. That head looks fine. We'll put a drop of head cement on it. I've got a, a rogue fiber sticking down out of my body right there. But the wing, you want it, we're going to cut it at an angle and just slightly longer than the bend of the hook. So pull this out tight right here and then cut it at this angle about eh, like it right there. So see that just a little bit longer than the bend. And there you have it, Kings River Caddis. It's not my go-to caddis, that's probably the elk hair, but this is probably my second best. If I'm not getting them to hit on the elk hair, sometimes I'll throw this on, and uh, I've had some luck with it. Sometimes I'll pick it first. So anyway, if you've watched this far, I really appreciate it. I hope you'll consider subscribing. I've been trying to do two to three videos a week, and eventually I'm gonna get this thing figured out and have a, a great channel here. So if you're one of the, the first eight subscribers, out there watching this. Hey, I really do appreciate you. So that's all folks. Thanks for watching.